So first of all, for those of us who are not familiar with it, explain exactly what your business model is. What do you do and how do you make money off of it? So we're the world leader in energy from waste. We operate about 40 facilities around the world. Um, basically, we got three uh, inputs and some outputs uh, from that process. So we take in waste. We process about 20 million tons a year of waste through these energy from waste plants. It produces power, enough power to uh, light up a million homes a year. And then we also rec reclaim a lot of metal. There's a lot of metal that comes through the waste stream. So it was interesting in here in some of your earlier uh, segments. Um, all three of those revenue streams are going to be impacted by, by different um, items that you talked about. So for example, our waste contracts generally um, pricing, the price increases associated with them are, are pegged to inflation. So the extent there's a more of an inflationary environment in the U.S., we'll see higher, higher waste mm -hmm. pricing. And it's a good time to be a waste company. Um, with respect to renewable energy, uh, places like China are looking for opportunities to use uh, energy from waste for renewable energy. Uh, you're seeing that at, at a number of countries around the world. One country we're very focused on right now is Ireland and the UK, two countries, Ireland and the UK. Uh, and we built a big plant in, the, in, in Ireland uh, that went on stream in, in October. Uh, and then lastly, when you look at metals, there's a lot of metal that goes through the, the, the waste stream. We, re we reclaim about 600,000 tons a year of metal. So think about this, that's enough to build six new Golden Gate bridges a year. Hmm. Uh, and we reclaim two billion aluminum cans. So the, wow. the earlier segment about aluminum pricing going up, uh, quite frankly, uh, warms my heart. <laughs> <laughs> so to talk to me about your revenue stream. I mean, mm -hmm. you make money presumably off of selling the power that you're generating. Right. Uh, you make some money off of the metal that right. you reclaim, like aluminum. Uh, do municipalities also pay you money because you're taking their waste off their hands? Not only municipalities, but uh, companies like Waste Management or Waste Connections. The alternative is, uh, to energy from waste is a landfill. And in order, when, when haulers pick up the waste at your house, uh, they need, to, they need to, to, to dispose of it somewhere. So they'll take it either to a landfill or to an energy from waste plant. Um, energy from waste plants are more sustainable. And so, uh, because when you take your waste to a landfill, it decomposes over the next 50 to 100 years. Uh, it produces methane. Methane's about 30 times worse than CO2 as a greenhouse gas. And so there's a number of companies, municipalities, New York City is a good example, who want to take their waste away from landfills and take it to energy from waste plants. Uh, but you mentioned CO2. How much CO2 or other sorts of things do you generate from the reclaiming of the energy? How, what, what's the environmental effect of what you're doing? Yeah, it's actually, it's, it's interesting. We're a net, uh, redu we, we create a net reduction for CO2 because when the EPA does their life cycle analysis uh, associated with a ton of waste, um, you can put it into a landfill or you can take it to an energy from waste plant. Uh, when you put it in the landfill, because it creates such a large greenhouse gas footprint, when you take it to an energy from waste plant, you get that credit under the life cycle analysis. So every ton of waste that we combust in an energy from waste plant reduces the CO2 by, by about a ton. So this sounds wonderful, but, but in my experience, a lot of communities don't particularly like waste mm. plants near them. Uh, well, uh, how much of a problem do you have sort of not in my backyard, as it were? That's still an issue. Um, I think what drives it more, and if you look around the world, is uh, island nations where they're, um, mm. where they're running out of land and they want to use their land for other activities. So, for example, we just built a big plant in Ireland. Uh, it came on stream in October. It takes about 40% of the waste in the, uh, from Ireland through that plant now. Our next, um, our next island nation is going to be the UK. We uh, just signed a joint venture with the Green Investment Group, which is owned by Macquarie to uh, join forces to undertake a number of energy from waste plants there. So uh, it tends to be those countries that are running out of waste space um, that focus on energy from waste. In the U.S., we have a lot of land, and so there still tends to be a lot more landfills in the U.S. than some of these other countries. How much of a motor is there around your business? How many competitors do you have? Who can do this uh, as well? It, not a lot. So in the U.S., we're about 70% of the market here in the U.S., and so what drives our business in the U.S. rather than new energy from waste plants are companies. So about 80% of the S&P 500 uh, has some sort of sustainability goal. And those companies generally have a waste goal. And, and one, of, one of their waste goals t tends to be taking less of their waste to landfills. And as I mentioned, not a, co not a company, but New York City has that same goal. And so those companies, if they want to take their waste to a different disposal outlet, they're most likely dealing with Covanta because of our footprint here in the US. How big can you get? Uh, we're expecting to grow by about 50% over the next probably five to seven years. Uh, if you look at where the next set of new energy from waste plants will be for us, it'll be in the UK with our green investment group, uh, JV. 
we'll be able to undertake a number of projects there. The first of which is in Rookery, which is about 70 kilometers north of uh, London. Uh, and that plant's about 90% of the size of the, of the Dublin plant. So uh, we're expecting to start uh, construction there in the first half of the year here. And how much, last? how much has the tax cut b package affected you? Has that benefited you enormously? Has it hurt you? What is the effect of it? The, uh, because m a lot of the new energy from waste activities are outside the U.S., the, uh, the uh, territorial changes and bringing money back to the U.S. will be a benefit. Uh, we have a large uh, tax asset, so NOL, so it doesn't have an immediate impact on us. It will impact the U.S. economy, and as the economy grows, um, more waste is generated, so that'll help the waste portion of our business.